y'all. How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Let's get y'all up and close with this bad boy. Oh, my head's cut off. Alright, here we go, y'all. I got a steak. Y'all see this bad boy here? Nice and thick. I think it's a... It was an inch and a half thick before I um, cooked it. And then I have some... This is going to be a surf and turf because I have some mashed potatoes. I made a white gravy. I put some onions, garlic powder, onion powder. I put some white onions and some cilantro in there. I got some crawfish tails. I got a green, a green lip mussel. Uh, I've got some shrimp. So this is Fifi's surf and turf. Okay. So let me scoot that over a little bit so y'all can see all that good. There you go. All right. What did you sit down to eat with me today? <clears throat> I am hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. So, I'm gonna empty this bottle. Get the rest of that. Then we got a new bottle. And this bad boy had probably about two inches of fat on one end, so I had to cut it off. So, y'all, let's dig into it. We're going to get a little potato, crawfish, for that bite. Y'all see that? Mmm, that's good. That's real good. My steak <clears throat> came out great, medium rare, but I like it. Mm -hmm. So how are you guys doing? What did y'all sit down to eat with me today? A little hot, but tender. I do have an ASMR channel. I haven't worked, did anything on it in a couple months. But I think I'm on. Do some videos on it. Mm hmm. Mm -mm. This is so, so good, y'all. Mm. I'm going to have to look up to see what other surf and turf people have done. The only thing that made this even more perfect is a nice crisp salad. Oh, I'm trying to cap.
Mm-mm-mm. It's the alert, y'all. Ooh. Turn it all the way off. <clears throat> That's hot. Making my mashed potatoes hot, hot, hot. Yeah, I'm trying to bake. I want me to do it with my nails. It's kind of hard to type with them. So I think I'm just going to take them off. Just get some um, gel. Crawfish tail. This is big old shrimp. Probably should have cut it up. Big juicy one. Ooh. Hot. Mm. Yeah, I was uh, I saw a segment of Wendy Williams on her on YouTube where she was talking about Nicole Murphy, who happens to be Eddie Murphy's ex-wife, and she's in her fifties. Babe, she had a banger body. Mm -hmm. And if I had her body, I'd be wearing the same clothes she wearing. But anyway, she uh, supposedly is sleeping around with. A Hollywood uh, film director, <clears throat> and uh, was married. So come to find out, they're separated. So, and there is a difference because if they are legally separated, then uh, you know. But the problem I noticed was Nicole Murphy gonna get on Instagram or one of them social media sites, Sam. Just a family friend. But we got about four photos of you slobbing him down in the mouth. Mm, that's kind of an interesting family friend. I'm going to say about that. Which brings me to our topic. Relationships. When do you let him go? When do you let him go? If I was his estranged wife, after this came out, I, I'd have to call a lawyer. Definitely. And you have publicly embarrassed her.
What is your threshold when it comes to a relationship? Cheating, cheating is definitely one of my thresholds. And not necessarily because of the um, infidelity. The reason why it's one of my threshold is because when you are in a relationship with somebody and they are sleeping around, they can bring something home to you. Something that you can't get rid of. So that's why it's my, my threshold. You know? A piece of fat. I don't want to take that kind of chance. You know, if you feel like you can't have any self-control and you want to cheat, just let me be safe. Believe me. You, know, you can, your heart will eventually heal, but you can't, you can't get healed from AIDS and herpes and, you know, some of the diseases, uh, can cause a woman to get cancer, cervical cancer. I don't think people have to think about that part right there. All because you didn't have any self control. Verbal and physical abuse. My threshold as well. You ain't gonna put your hands on me. I call me names. Being in somebody else's life is not that crucial. I know. I'm like that when, when even when it comes down to kids. <clears throat> You'll always be my child. But what we're not going to do is deal with disrespect. We're not going to do that. So what are y'all opinions on that? What is your threshold when it comes to personal relationships? Relationship with your kids? And relationship with family? If you don't mean me no good, I don't need you in my life. At my age now, won't you show me who you are? I believe you. I got one brother and one sister. They both older than me. Love both my brother and my sister dearly. Right, my sister? I have to love her from a distance. She is who she is. And I respect that. But I can't. I can't. Too, it's, there's too much on the line. 
There's too much to lose. Dealing with folks because they want to do stuff. To be selfish. You can do stuff to be selfish. Just don't involve me in it. They go for cousins. I got a good friend of mine. We had a used to be a mutual friend. This girl always, in my opinion, mooching off the other girlfriend. I guess one day she tried me. I had uh, multiple cars at the time. And she had let her ex-husband, baby daddy, whatever you want to call him, wreck her car. She had a nice car, too. Let him tear it up. Several times. So she lost her car. She don't have that outside ass man. She used my mind. I should tell honey that ain't gonna happen. I was cool being associates with with her. We would, you know, go out to the club type thing. You know, nothing professional. But when it comes to stuff in my name, mm -mm. you may do it. She would call my friend. I call her the associate. She would call my friend. I'm getting mad at her, cuss her out. Call her name. Tell her she's a bad mother. My other friend, she's like, well, I'm just going to pray for her. And she don't talk to her for a month, and then two months later, they write back on school terms. Mm -mm. I ain't going to be able to do it. Not I. I ain't going to be able to do it. We like some fake tacos in order. But. I ain't going to be able to do it. If you let your so called baby daddy that you've had a roller coaster ride <clears throat> of a relationship with, tear your stuff up. What do you think you're going to do with my stuff? you going to care even less about my stuff. So no, I pass on that. I'm not the one. And then two, I work a lot. I don't work. I don't work hard and long hours for another broad to be comfortable. I'm not set up like that. It's just like this. If you was working hard, you wouldn't be having time to fool with that fool. And you would have whatever paper you need. And it's not like she was not, wasn't capable of doing it because she used to do it. And y'all, I can see if this was in our early 20s. Mm -mm. You've been doing this with this fool for over 20 years. Mm -mm. I think you can't understand why your kids disrespect you. Baby. Bad. I 
If that makes you a good mother, putting up a disrespect for kids, then I'm a horrible mother. I might be able to do it. I'm not even gonna fight them. I ain't put my hands on them, nothing. My kids are outgrown. They have the choice. You have the choice to be in my life, you don't have to. People say, oh, you just say that. I deal with death every day, all day. Every day, all day. Life is too short. Life is way too short. I want you to love on me because you want to. I want you to. Come see me because you want to. Not because you feel like you're obligated. There's no obligations here. Alright, y'all. This video is getting long. It's over 21 minutes. Let me know what y'all think. <clears throat> Leave me plenty of comments in the comment section. Until next time. Come join me. In our next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you actually made it all the way to the end of the video. Drop me five yellow hearts or say yellow hearts. Alright. Thank you. Bye.